quite a long story, but it all came about with a move from the city, we're living in the city, out to the country. It was about bringing our three little boys out to teach them where food comes from. It was a journey into growing our own food, to composting, to really teaching our little boys how to be eco-warriors. And on that journey, I um, started fermenting some of the food I was growing in my garden. The foraging came about through um, an understanding of permaculture of how wild edibles or weeds, plants in the wrong places we like to call them, um, how they nourish and heal bare soil and also how those plants that help the land are also the ones that help the people of the land as well and so I was kind of like well let's try fermenting them. 90% of our produce would come from um, within a 50 kilometre radius um, and that is a conscious decision. That's kind of the permaculture lens that we've chosen to put over our business and make um, more greener decisions, so reduce food miles. We like to think of ourselves as fermentation revivalists and we are really wedded to the technique of wild fermentation, which means we just use the beautiful natural ingredients, we don't add any packet starter cultures to the mix, just the lactic acid bacteria present on the vegetables is enough to produce beautiful ferments like sauerkraut, kimchi, and our water kefir. I never imagined landing back in Clevedon. I mean, it was three digit phone numbers and gravel roads when I last lived here. But um, it was an opportunity to come back, to live on the home farm. And, you know, and it reminded me of how fabulous a small rural community is.